How's it going guys? Vincent here from the creativedojo.net. Welcome to another video tutorial. Today's quick tip, I want to talk about my newest script called the Dojo Expander script here. Now, this is a quick little script I wrote that will help you kind of expand your compositions, your composition sizes and resizes your layers, your footage, and your nested compositions very easily with the click of a button here. And this can be kind of handy if you are working on a project, maybe an experiment or something like that. And you did it kind of low res just because you're messing around or something like that. And uh, your client comes to you and they want something very similar. So you go to your open your project and, uh, you know, lo and behold, you have a low res copy and you want to kind of upscale it and kind of get started really quickly. Um, and this can be a video hive project or, you know, a freelance project experiment. Uh, like in this case right here, this is kind of an experiment I did uh, using Trapcode Mirror when it first came out here. And, you know, it's a pretty cool experiment and a client wanted something very similar to this. Only downside is that this is actually made in 720p here. And I want it to be at least 1080p here. So what would we have to do? We would have to essentially expand this main composition here to 1920 by 1080 and, uh, you know, hit OK. And that will expand this final composition. We would have to go into all the nested compositions here. So go into the main comp here and change this resolution to 1920 by 1080 here. And then we would have to go through all the nested compositions here. And as you can see, we can't change the composition settings for, for everything here. It has to be individually. So we have to go into this one here and change the resolution of this composition to 1920 by 1080 here. And, uh, you know, that's assuming that, you know, we're not changing the frame rates as well as the duration, etc. So we have to change the comp size that way. And then now we have to change all the solid layers. So for this background layer, we need to change the solid layer to, again, 1920 by 1080. And we have to do this for all the solids one at a time because you can't edit layer solids uh, all at once. So individually, we would have to increase the size of all the solids, all the adjustment layers, you know, all the comp sizes, all the nested comp sizes, et cetera. And we have to do this for pretty much the whole project that you want to use. And this can be a pretty tedious process here. So the Dojo Expander script will kind of help you with this a little bit. So for example, if I just undo everything I did, and go all the way back to when this is 720p here. So for an example right here, we're back at 720p. And let's say I wanted to expand this whole project to 1920 by 1080 here. So for an example, I'm gonna go and select the composition that I want to expand. In this case, it's the active final comp composition right here. And then we have a few options that we can change here. For example, the width, the height and pixels, the frame rate, the pixel aspect ratio, as well as the extended duration. So you can basically extend the duration of the compositions as well as decrease the duration of the compositions in frames or seconds, and it'll resize the whole compositions in the nested compositions accordingly. Now, I also wanna mention that there are some settings in the uh, settings panel here, so we can actually just update this composition or update the nested compositions. We can also scale footage proportionally. So, you know, by default, we just can't, you know, change the size of the video of footage. We can either scale it up or, you know, shrink it down. So if you check this button right here, it will actually scale up your footage to fit the size of the composition. So if you had a 720p clip in the composition and you upscale it to 1920 by 1080, it's going to scale the footage up to 1920 by 1080 using the default scale parameter here. So that can be kind of useful depending on what you're trying to do here. Obviously it's not perfect, but you know, it can help in certain cases. Um, also scale and nested compositions is the same thing as scale footage. So basically the update nested composition feature will actually go into the comp settings change the pixel size, width, height, all that stuff. Whereas the scale nested composition proportionally option will actually just scale up the nested composition. And then we also have extend layer out points after extending duration. And that will basically just extend the out points uh, once you extend the duration of the composition here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the update nested composition because I want that to scale everything up, including all the nested compositions. I don't have any footage to worry about, so I'll just leave all these unchecked and hit okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set the width to 1920 by 1080 here. And I'm gonna leave these blank. If you leave these blanks, these won't be affected. Uh, if you change these or even enter a space in here, it'll give you an error here. So make sure you enter either nothing or something valid and go ahead and click away and go ahead and select your comp and hit expand comps. And the script's gonna go through and expand this composition. It's gonna go in through all these sub compositions and expand all those composition. It's also gonna scale up all the layers as well. And as you can see, if I go into the scene one comp, you can see that the composition has been changed to 1920 by 1080, same frame rate, same duration. 
and all the layers are also scaled up proportionally as well as any adjustment layers made in these compositions here. So as you can see, all the comps are 1920 by 1080 and you know, all the layers are also 1920 by 1080. And as you can see, we essentially upscaled this thing uh, pretty fast, very easily using a quick script here. Now, of course, you would need to go into the mirror options here and change the parameters, okay? These, the script doesn't do anything with that. It just changes the actual original layer size here, but you would still need to go in here and tweak the size of the fractal, tweak the geometry. It doesn't scale those things up, but it does scale the actual physical layer that the effect is on. So it's pretty much a motion graphics tool. It's not gonna help you too much in visual effects or something like that, but it will help you in motion graphics if you need to change the actual layer size and kind of just upscale things. And this will actually increase your process and make it a little bit faster. So whether you're working on a video hive project and you wanna upscale it, or you wanna downscale something and kinda of keep it very efficient and very clean, this will actually help you here. Lastly, if I wanted to extend the duration of the composition, I would just hit maybe uh, two seconds here, uh, change it to seconds and hit expand comps and it'll actually expand the comps and as well as the nested compositions and extend the duration of the comp as well as extend the duration of all the out points that are at the end point here. So for example, you know, this layer, this layer, as well as the out of focus and the CC and the main comp, will actually be extended to the new end duration. The text layer here will not because the end point is not the end of the composition here. So it's kind of a smart way to expand and you know extend the duration of layers. It's under the name your own price platform on the creativedojo.net, so check it out. It's a pretty cool script and it'll save you a lot of time if you are expanding a lot of compositions and experimenting a lot and wanna upscale things pretty fast and easily. So check it out, Dojo Expander by the creativedojo.net. My name is Vincent Nguyen and I'll see you guys next time.